Welcome, this is Form 4 Mathematics and the topic today is differentiation on calculus and today we are looking at curve sketching. So the question reads, a curve is represented by the function y is x minus 1 squared into x minus 2 but a find the derivative of y with respect to x, that is dy over dx. b Roman 1 determine the stationary points of the curve, then b Roman 2 for each stationary point determine whether it's a minimum or point of inflection or a maximum point. Then lastly, in the space provided, sketch the curve of the function y is equal to x minus 1 squared into x minus 2. So here, so for part A, we are required to get the derivative of this function here. But before we do that, uh, the first thing we'll be required to do is to expand. So we will have y is equal to, so for the quadratic part, x minus 1 squared, we'll have that expanded as x squared minus 2x plus 1, and then we multiply by the other part, x minus 2. So this, when expanded, should give us x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5x minus 2. And therefore, from there, we can now get the derivative of y with respect to x, that is dy over dx. So this uh, should be given us 3x squared. So we have 3 x and then the power reduces by 1 minus 2 by 4 that should give us 8 x and then the power reduces by 1 so we have 2 minus 1 so x power 1 which is just x and then plus 5 5 x when differentiated becomes 5 so this is the derivative of y with respect to x. For part b, determine the stationary points of the curve. So at stationary points, we know that the derivative of y is 0. That is dy over dx is 0. So already we have gotten dy over dx to be 3x squared minus 8x plus 5. So that is 0. When this is factorized on the left hand side in order to solve for x, we are going to have, so we use factor method, so the product of two factors are rather is 15, so we have 5 by 3, giving us 15. So the product of the two factors we're looking for. And then the sum should be negative 8. So the factors are negative 3 and negative 5. So multiply them, you get positive 15, add them, you get negative 8. So we are going to replace negative 8x with negative 3 and negative 5x respectively so that we are going to have the equation written as 3x squared minus 3x minus 5x that in place of negative 8x plus 5 is equal to 0. From there we can now factorize the left hand side so that we have 3x 
into x minus 1 minus 5 into x minus 1 is equal to 0. So this becomes x minus 1 into 3x minus 5 is 0. So from here we can get x to be 1 and x is 1 and 2 thirds. So from the values of x we can now get the y coordinates. So if x is equal to 1 then y becomes, so this we are going to obtain by simply substituting back in the original function. So y is x minus 1 squared into x minus 2. So when x is 1, we realize that y becomes 0. So this gives us the point 1 comma 0. So 1 0 is one of the stationary points. Next when x is 1 and 2 over 3, y becomes, so when you substitute back, what we are simply going to have is negative 4 over 27. So that the point becomes 1 and 2 over 3. Uh, sorry, sorry, comma, negative 4 over 27. So these two points are the stationary points. So, sorry, this is a comma. Okay, so for the next part, for each stationary point, determine whether it's a minimum or maximum or a point of inflection. So here, uh, we are going to use the second derivative to do the test. So the first derivative, which was dy over dx, we had gotten to be 3x squared minus 8x plus 5, that is from up here. Now, differentiating a second time, we are simply going to have 6x minus 8. So, using the second derivative, we can tell whether the points above are a maximum a minimum point or a point of inflection. So at point one zero, the second derivative simply becomes so we substitute the value of x of which in this case is one. So we have six into one minus eight and that is negative 2. So negative 2 is less than 0. So if the second derivative is less than 0, then that point is a maximum point. So point 1, 0 is a maximum point. Next, we are going to test the nature of point 1 and 2 over 3 comma negative 4 over 27. So the second derivative simply becomes 6 and then we substitute the value of x. Remember we are still applying this second derivative so x for this particular case is 1 and 2 thirds. So 1 and 2 thirds minus 8. So this is going to be 2. And for this case, 2 is greater than 0. 
So if 2 is greater than 0, or in other words, if it is positive, then that particular point, like here we have 1 and 2 over 3, comma negative 4 over 27, is a minimum point. And thus we have determined the nature of the points. Suppose the second derivative was equal to zero, then the point would qualify to be a point of inflection. So next, we move to the last part. In the space provided, sketch the curve of the function. So, uh, for us to get, or rather to sketch uh, the curve, then what we need to know is number one, stationary points. which are the turning points. We need to know x-intercepts. And we also need to know the y-intercept. Those are three important components. So already we know the stationary points, which we've got to be 1, 0, and one and two thirds negative four over twenty seven. So we are yet to determine the x intercepts and the y intercepts. So at the x intercepts, we know that y is zero. So we substitute that in the function here. So we have if y is 0, we will have x minus 1 squared into x minus 2 is equal to y, which is 0. So from here, we can see that x is 1 and x is also 2. So x is either 1 or x is 2. And then we can also say, for the y-intercept, x is 0, so we substitute in the function there, so that when we substitute, if x is 0, then we will get that y becomes negative 2. So the y-intercept is negative 2, the x-intercepts are 2 and 1. So with this, we can now sketch. So when sketching, we can use straight lines. So make use of a ruler to draw straight lines. So this is the Cartesian plane this is now y-axis and then right here we have the x-axis so we are going to locate these points the estimate positions so for us to locate point one zero then we must be somewhere at point one then point one and two over three somewhere between one and two so we know it's somewhere here, 1 and 2 over 3. And for negative 4 over 27, we can have it somewhere here, negative 4 over 27. And then the y-intercept negative 2, we can have down there. So for the stationary points or the turning points, we have point one zero. And point one zero we had identified as a maximum point. So sorry, here is the origin. So if it's a maximum point, then the nature of the curve at that particular point is that for a maximum point. 
and then you also have point one and two thirds negative four over twenty seven as at this point. So if it is at that particular point, negative or rather one and two over three, negative four to seven, so we look at it right there. And then we had seen that it's a minimum point, and for a minimum point, the curve takes that shape. So we also have the curve passing through point X is one, which is obvious there. Point X is two, so we can extend it so that it passes through two. We can also join this and then also have the curve passing through the Y intercept point negative two. So that finally we have the sketch. The sketch of the function Y is X minus one squared into x minus 2. So that's it for this question. See you next time.